Hey guys, this is another uh, quick video tutorial. Um, this tutorial is actually made by Funks Manime. He's one of uh, the pro users of Anime Studio, in my opinion. Um, he actually posted this on the forum a little while ago. I just wanted to make a video of what he was talking about, and that's how to make um, arms or legs that bend without using patches or um, masking. Um, just a couple of quick shapes and a bone layer and a vector layer. So, and I'm also going to use um, the grid feature, which is Command G, and this just lets me uh, make precise pivot points on objects. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. I'm going to start off by drawing a rectangle with uh, auto fill and auto stroke on, and just draw a rectangle. And I'm going to hit A, add a point, vector point, and Put it right in the center, which is easy to do when you have the grid on. It just snaps into place. Hit C, and I'm going to curve it all the way out. Um, and I'm going to hit T, select the object, Command C, Command V to copy, then hit R to rotate it. I'm holding Shift down so it rotates um, in a perfect axis and then move it over so now we've got a perfect circle formed over the uh, two objects actually I'm going to command X cut that and then command V paste it back I, I just want that image on top first and now I'm going to create a bone layer and drag the artwork into the bone layer oops uh, right there and select the bone layer and hit A or click on the icon to add bones and I'm gonna start in the center and I'm gonna stop right at this point right here which is gonna be in the center of the circles and then draw another one and uh, now I'm going to select the uh, artwork again the vector artwork select shapes, select circle, take off the auto stroke this time. I'm going to draw a circle right over the other um, the overlap and then I'm just going to pull it down one more uh, grid space just so it covers up this side of the circle on that shape. And then finally I'm going to go to the uh, uh, bone layer, or no the vector layer and I'm going to bind the points or bind the uh, bones to the artwork so hit B select uh, hit G and then um, select the artwork and then you can bind the points and then I'm going to hit B select the bone and hit G again and select the second object and then while holding shift down I'm also going to select the fake patch I guess you could call it it's not really a patch, it's just another shape. And so they're both selected now and just bind both of those uh, things together. And there you have it. That's all it is. is uh, I'm going to hit Command G to take off the grid. And you can see now when I manipulate the bones that you have a perfect bend. And it, the uh, fake patch is kind of covering uh, the midpoint, or this point here. The uh, lines are a little thin here where it bends but I mean it looks really great anyway so actually let's go to the bone layer and I'll just rotate this real quick and make it look more like a leg so you can see how, how this works um, yeah. Uh, okay. So now that we've got a perfect pivot point right in the center, I'm going to uh, just make this look more like a leg, I guess. Uh, add a, make it look like a calf muscle here. Kind of bend it out, maybe. It's kind of a funky looking leg, but. Just add some more points here. You know, you can put a foot on or, or uh, 
a hand there too, but you kind of, it's a very chunky leg. Let's make this a little longer. But since you have that good pivot point right there, it should look pretty good when I bend this. Oh yeah. That looks like a leg running, kind of, <laughs> by itself and no foot. But, you know, it works. Um, so, once again, this is for beginners or, you know, if you have a lot of trouble making uh, joints or pivot points. This really, really, really helped me a lot. And like I said again, this is from Funks Anime. He's uh, advanced users on anime, this anime studio form. So, check his stuff out. And that's it.